Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to add a small little bit of motion to our After Effects files using the CC Bender effect. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that you'll need is you'll need your Illustrator vase document. If you haven't created this, you can watch the previous video and it will show you how to actually create the vase and the plant in Illustrator. Once you have that, you will need to import that file into After Effects. So once you have it imported, you need to import the composition and then just press OK. So now I can double click on my flower vase and I'm just going to get rid of this layer because I don't need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the CC Bend It effect on the plant layer. So it's in Effect Distort CC Bend It. And you can see that it vanishes straight away. It's because we haven't set the start and end points. So I'm just going to grab this point over here and I'm just going to put it to the beginning of my plan. And the other point, I'm just going to put it until all of the plan is revealed. So just up there. Now you can see if I move this bend, you can see that I can make the plan actually move. And it looks pretty cool. So now we are going to actually put all the keyframes in. So the first thing that I need to do is I'm just going to bring the work area a little bit shorter. So probably to about four seconds. And then I'm going to trim the comp to the work area. I then am going to go into my effects, CC bend it and bend. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm at the start of my clip. And I'm just going to, I'm going to start it at negative five, press the stopwatch, move it forward in time one second. And then I'm going to go up to probably about 15 and then move it forward to two seconds and then maybe go to negative 10, move it forward in time, go back to 15. And then the final frame, which will be right at the end of the clip, I'll bring it back to negative five. So now you can see when I play that, the plant actually bends and it's looking pretty cool at the moment. Another thing that we can do to this um, animation is we can make all of these keyframes easy ease by uh, right clicking and then going into uh, easy ease or pressing F9 on your keyboard. So it's looking pretty good but now I want to actually duplicate that vase and do a few more of these effects. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, click on and hold control to highlight both the vase and the plant and I'm just going to press control C to copy and I'm just going to paste it twice. So now I have three sets of plants and vases. And so what I need to do is I just need to make sure that the plant goes on top of the vase in each of those sets. And then I'm just going to highlight the vase 2 and plant 2 and then just move that over so I can see it. And I'm going to do the same for vase 3. Cool. So now I have three separate vases with three plants all going at the same time. Now that looks pretty good, but we want to change up some of that animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on all of my plants and then press U on my keyboard to pull up all of my keyframes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stagger this row, this row and this row just so the start times for the plant look a little bit different. So I'm going to highlight all of this and I'm just going to move it forward in time, let's say half a frame or we'll go a little bit less. And then the final one, the top layer, I'm just going to move that forward in time, probably about half a frame. And so now when I play that back, they're all at different motions. So it already makes the animation look a little bit better, but we have a problem now because the, the front frame doesn't really start, you know, when the animation starts. So we can easily fix this by putting in an expression. So to put the expression in, what we need to do is we need to hold Alt and press on our stopwatch. And here we have the expressions builder. Now the expression that we need to put in, we need to put in loop, we need to put in loop in, 
and then we're going to write plus loop out then you can press tab minus value and when you do that it now creates an infinite loop where you don't see any you know stop in that motion so I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to copy and paste that and I'm going to put it down here on this one as well so now if I play that back they will all be smooth and you don't see um, the animation stopping at all so yeah cool the, that's it um, I hope this video has taught you something but um, anyways guys that's about it I will see you next time